Great news, everybody! If you haven't heard, you're going to hear it here first. It's big time news coming at you. That's right, friends. It's your main man Z here, and we're here to drop a little bit of news. I'm sure it's been spread all over the place. Breaking the internet, as they say. That's right. It seems like there's been huge casting news for Deadpool 3, and we can hear directly from the man himself and discuss some of the consequences. This is Ryan Reynolds, and he has a Deadpool update for you, and you know, uh, along with saying how he has nothing and he spent a lot of time trying to come up with this as they want Deadpool to join the MCU the right way. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. I have nothing. Yeah. It's just completely empty up here and terrifying. But we did have one idea. Hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure, Ryan. <laughs> oh, that's right. Hugh Jackman gonna come back to play Wolverine? Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, if there's one way to get people excited about the MCU again, it would be that. Uh, <laughs> especially with the downturn that has taken recently, uh, there's definitely not a lot of interest in the MCU. There's there's a lot of people upset with uh, Miss Marvel and the Marvels and. She-Hulk and other such things as I review all of that nonsense and more every single episode for some crazy reason. I like to torture myself, but this is not torture. This is exciting. This is... Whew, wow. I, I I have no idea how he agreed to get it. How, how did he get him to agree to do it? The dude was like, yeah, I'm done. I mean, money talks, baby. Money talks. And Disney's got infinite coffers, but maybe, maybe Hugh Jackman once the greatest showman too and this is part of the deal i don't know maybe it better not be a glorified cameo i'll be a little disappointed if it's like the cable um you know the, the depiction of cable which which i actually i liked and disliked in deadpool 2 there was a lot to like about deadpool but there's also a lot to not necessarily like so it's it's not like it's coming off of this amazing movie and uh yeah we'll see what happens i'm excited for the future how about you guys let me know down in the comments do you think that this is as big news i mean it's got several million views already and people are pretty excited i i have to admit like <laughs> it's such a strange thing because they were in a movie together before they were in the wolverine movie and that was terrible because he had his mouth shown he was the merc with a mouth and he couldn't talk so maybe they're trying to make this justice. And in the original Deadpool movie, and both of them, there are many Hugh Jackman jokes. So I think it's kind of amusing that these guys still are going at it. And that's that's where I was thinking, like, the whole Cable thing with Josh Brolin. Now, Josh Brolin himself said he didn't feel extremely comfortable with the Cable character. I don't think he felt like he had enough time to figure him out versus, like, Thanos, where he had time to, to research it and understand it. Obviously, Hugh Jackman's coming in this as... He, he knows Wolverine. He's you know the best depiction on screen we've ever had of him. Uh, you know, so uh, exciting news. Very astonishing. I don't know how they pulled it off. Some sort of miracle. And uh, go team Ryan Reynolds, the greatest, literally the one of the world's greatest spokesmen. He he's so good at I guess advertising or like getting people hyped up about stuff. Even in this, he. He's pouring himself a cup of coffee and he's pouring in aviation gin all over the place. So good stuff, Ryan Reynolds. You keep it going and congratulations on yet another baby. I guess all those other Hollywood starlets weren't weren't ready to put out babies for you, but Blake Lively, she's like, keep them coming. I think she's on number four. So you must be a fertile man. <laughs> he's winning. It's winning life. Deadpool 3, big family. Got, he got Hugh Jackman to sign up crazy crazy good stuff good stuff uh catch our full-length audio podcast it's on stitcher itunes spotify all those great places for free to you you can catch it all those fantastic places if you want to hang out with us we do do a live version of that same podcast friday nights 7 30 eastern standard time p.m 
Friday nights for the time being. And um, be sure to catch everything else we do. We have a lot of shorts, a lot of 10 second reviews. Those are pretty awesome. Enjoy those and more, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.